Hi Jurassic Cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw Peter Pan, so let's get started. To draw Peter Pan, let's first start by drawing his face. So I'm going to come right here and draw basically the bottom of a U. So I come down, I come right across, nice and wide, so say about right here. And I'm going to connect at the bottom with a curve. And I'm going to try to make it a little bit sharper towards the center. So about right here and then back up. Just to give it a little bit more definition. I probably can't really tell. <laughs> we just want a nice curve under. From there, I'm going to come to the side on the edge and draw a circle for his eyes. And same thing right across, about right here. And now that I have the two circles in, let's make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom and same thing over here. Okay, so then now that we have the eyes in, I'm going to come right here and draw a curve right over the eye just to anchor the eye. And same thing over here. So just a curve comes right out towards the sides. And then now we can give, her, give him a sweet smile. So about right here, I'll go ahead and draw a curve that slightly goes up and cap it off. And then we can go ahead and draw his brow. So let's come above his eye about right here and I'll draw a curve right over his eye. And then I'm gonna come in here and thicken them up. So just give him a little zigzag and then connect. So same thing over here. Right here, let's draw a curve right over his eye and just thicken up a little bit zigzag. Now we can go ahead, let's see here. Now we can um, go ahead and bring this up. So we're just imagining an oval for his head. So see so right here, right around his brow. Now we can go ahead and draw his bangs. So I'll just start right here and just remember we have the center that we need to draw. So I'll come about right here, I'll start one right over his brow, go up, and then I'm going to come down to the center, this big strand, and then come right back up, and come down once again right over his brow, and up. And see here, so whatever space I have left, I'll come in here and finish this up. Bring this up a little bit more. And then now that we have that in, let's come back right here where his eyes are and we're going to just go ahead, come up with a slight curve and go up. But right here, go up. And we're gonna go up with a curve all the way around. So not too high because we still need to draw his hat. So about right here. Go ahead and then bring this down and connect with a curve and then we can come back right here and draw his ear so that's why i have this little curve right here because i want to draw his ear and we'll give it a slight little point round it off and bring it right back down so same thing over here so right here brown off the tip and bring it down and you just come in here. I'm just going to add a little curve right here for some details. And now we can go ahead and draw his cap. So his hat right here. So come right in here. 
go up and let's see here. I'm going to bring it up and then about right here towards the center, I'm going to curve it out and give this little tip and bring it right back down just like the other side. So his hair went out too much on that side. <laughs> there. Now looking at my camera, cut this out too much. Okay, so then from there we can go ahead and draw his feather that we're gonna stick up right here. So see about right here, I'll go up with a curve, point it out, and bring it right back in indication of his um, the feather on his hat. I'll just come in here really quickly and fix this part right here so you can see a little bit better. There, hopefully that helps now. Okay, so that is pretty much it for his head. Now we can go ahead and draw his body. So I'm going to come right here in the center and give him a little neck right here and here. And I'm going to curve it out for his shoulders. And same thing here. Curve out and shoulders. Then I'm going to come imagine his armpit. So say about right here and here. And I'll draw two angle lines slight angle lines. And before I do that, finish that curve, I mean that line, let's come to the center. Now I come nice and low, say about right here. And I'm going to draw two angle lines to connect and then his collar. So let's come right here, zigzag up and connect. So same thing here, go up and connect. So then let's bring this down. So if, um, if you want to draw the little knife on his side, you can, um, let me do that right now. But if you don't want to do that, just go ahead and finish this. But I'll stop about right there because I know about right here, I'm going to stop and I'm going to draw the little knife on his side. So I'm just going to basically draw like a rectangle at an angle, then the handle of the knife. So everything's going this way. And then right here will be the blade. There. So then now we can go ahead and connect right here. And I'm going to add another curve for his belt. And then I'm going to pop this out. So we're going to start to draw the bottom right here. And bring this out. So about right there, I'm going to come in and we're going to draw three zigzags. So the center one is going to be the thickest. So I'm going to bring this up and this one right here, I'm going to actually sweep it to the side a bit. So come down and then up. And the reason I want to sweep it to the side is because I'm having the legs cross and I don't want that point right at the leg. Right here. I'll explain when I start to draw the legs. <laughs> Okay, so then we have the three points. So for his legs, I'm going to bring a point right down in the center, about right here. And I'm having them cross. So it is a little bit more complicated, but I hope um, I'm going to make this easy for you to follow along with me. So with this point right in the center, I'm going to come with a slight curve down. Then imagining right here, so his leg would be coming out right here. So his thigh, and I'll bring it down to about right here. So I'll follow this. So just imagining his thigh, and about right there, I'll stop and draw his calf. So I'm going to angle this out, curve it out slightly, and bring it down. So this is going to follow. So we're going to give it a little bend like a knee down and it's going to get thinner as we come down. So hopefully that wasn't too bad. So just remember, this is your center. You want this leg that kind of crosses over, but not too far out. You just want to still under the body. 
So about right there, I'll go ahead and connect it. Now for the other leg. So same thing, just like this side, it's gonna be about right here. And we want it crossed as well. So I'm gonna bring this down about right there. Imagine it coming through. So about right here, just like the other side. And just like the other side right here is where we're going to draw the calf. So we give it a little curve and then down and then connect there. Okay, so now the feet. So right here, let's come out, come out, and we're going to draw a curve. And so the foot is gonna be planted right in the center, right here, so that's nice and steady. And bring this down, give it a little wobble, and connect. And for some details, just to simplify, I'm just gonna draw a curve right there. So on this foot, it's gonna come out right here, give it a little bit wobble, and down. We're still ending at the same, the heel part. Down, wobble, and connect. And right here, same thing, just to simplify it, draw a curve around. So hopefully that wasn't too bad. So just remember the legs are right underneath the body still. Okay, so then from there we can go ahead and draw the arms. So I'll come, I'll just bring this up. Both sides and then the sleeves. So I'm going to bring this out. So this hand is outstretched. So I'll give it some zigzag right here. And let's go ahead. And I'm just going to simplify this. So about right here is where I want his arms to end. So just follow, and I'll just bring out a thumb and his fingers, his open palm there. And then I'll just come in here very lightly <laughs> with some lines. And so then this hand, it's going to be on his hip, so about right there. Out, zigzag, and Come down, so about right in this area. Come down and then angle out and follow. Come down, we're gonna angle it out and then right here, pop out a finger. There, okay. And then last but not least, I'm gonna add a heart right here. So now it's my Jurassic Peter Pan. And sorry it took so long for me to draw this character for you, and I'm so glad I finally did. I really hope you love how it turned out and that I made it fun and easy for you to follow along with me. Thanks so much for watching, and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.